Another type of alt azimuth mount, and a term you may have heard before in astronomy, is called the Dobsonian, which refers to the mount itself, not the telescope we're mounting it on. The Dobsonians are typically for reflecting telescopes, and they're a more cost effective and practical way of mounting some of the larger Newtonians. Essentially, it is press board or plywood and Teflon on a rocker that has like a lazy Susan teeter totter type of motion. As you can see, the Dobsonian base comes in a variety of shapes and sizes, but still has the basic operation, from this 4.5 inch reflector here to the big 13.5 and, and 25 inch guns I've got next to me here. Still on a lazy Susan to move my telescope. Up and down, I just grab it right here, pull it, leave it where I want to. There is a red dot finder on the scope, which we'll cover here in just a little bit, and I stand back here and I look through the finder to locate objects that I want to see in the eyepiece. And yes, with a daub this size, a six-foot stepladder is standard equipment. Another thing you may have noticed is a solid tube here, and this guy, which we call a truss tube Dobsonian. Uh, a truss tube reflector, I should say, more accurately, on a Dobsonian mount. Uh, solid tubes come up to about to 10 or 12 inch size before typically you should consider a truss tube Dobsonian. And the advantage here is if this was a 10, foot, a 10 inch solid tube, obviously you would need a bit of room to transport it, a van, a big truck, something to lay it down is. When it's a truss tube like this, this breaks down into four nice pieces. Uh, once we take the trusses off, we travel with these. We have one piece in the base. We have one piece down here where the mirror is. And this telescope lifts right off the base quite easily for transport. So instead of traveling with one large telescope, you can break it down into small bits. Uh, this is a truss tube design as well. If you're wondering about the cloth on the side, this is called a light shroud. This keeps stray light out from reflecting into uh, and bouncing off the trusses here and may uh, distract your view, get to the eyepiece. Uh, uh, also a large light shroud here. And uh, also a truss tube Dobsonian. So this guy here, in all its size, actually breaks down to about a wheelbarrow size that you can haul around with you. You still need a truck or a U-Haul to haul it around. A uh, good example of get as much aperture as you can uh, travel with.